Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom. Rhinox. And I gotta give a huge shout out to Patriot Prime Review superfan Brad Baluta for finding this guy for me. Brad sent me a Facebook message the other day, said he was at his Walmart, and there was two of these on the shelf and asked if I needed one. So I said yes, sent him a quick PayPal payment, and two days later, it's here in my hand. So Brad, thank you so much. So now let's take a quick look at the packaging. We've got Rhinox here in robot mode, Transformers, War for Cybertron Kingdom, more of that fantastic box art. We got Rhinox in beast mode, charging toward the Transformers logo, and Rhinox in robot mode, leaping into battle. Hasbro, give us an art book of this artwork. This is just amazing. On the back of the packaging, we've got Rhinox in robot mode once again, and beast mode, side of the box, more of that fantastic kingdom artwork. So now, let's go ahead and get Rhinox opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Rhinox all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and fairly easy to follow. Rhinox here is a challenge to transform. He also comes with a trading card. We've got Tank Megatron right there in robot mode. And peel the decal back, and now we have Galvatron. So that is a new one. We got Galvatron right there on the attack. So I dig it. I love that. Hopefully I can get a Galvatron soon. And of course you got the golden disc here on the back. Rhinox also comes with his two weapons and I have quite a bit to say about these, but we'll get to those later on. And of course we have Rhinox himself. Now let's take a closer look at this bot who loves to live large. Now my first impressions with Rhinox was he looks a little off. He just doesn't look as cartoon accurate as some of the other Kingdom figures that we've already got. Taking a closer look at him, especially here in the head sculpt. I mean, the head sculpt looks good, but it's just not cartoon accurate. Got some fairly decent paint applications here. You got the gold crest, the gold eyebrows, red eyes, and the gold trap jaw, I guess. I don't know what you call that. Chin strap. Molded in mouth right there. Big old pouty lips. I do like the chest. The chest is a faux mouth. If you remember the original Rhinox toy, the Rhinox head opened up and the lower jaw was the chest. Not the case here. You can see the rhino jaw right there. So this whole chest is a faux lower jaw, but it looks pretty good. You got all the molded in teeth right here. Painted silver. Got some nice details here on the crotch. I like the specks, the spots there on the rhino skin. Not as much down here on the legs, but still looks pretty good. Lots of molded details here on the forearms. 
And moving down here, you've kind of got fake rhino toes on the feet. Now, articulation for Rhinox is about what you would expect. The head is on a ball joint, can look up and down and do a complete 360. The arms can do a complete 360. There's also a in and out this way due to transformation, and the arms can also go out. And here's where we have a problem. Look how hollow that is. That looks terrible. I mean, he looks good like this, but you open those arms up, my God, you could, you could hide something in there if you'd like. Do not like that at all. So anyway, the arms can go in and out. There is a rotation at the elbow. And there is, let's see, there is no wrist rotation. I twist a little tighter or harder than I used to because I always get called out for missing articulation. But there is none for the wrist. The legs can go out and in, forward and back, though it is going to hit his backpack right here, but you can kind of angle those out accordingly. There is a knee bend. There is a thigh rotation. It's up a little higher than the knee. Down here on the feet, there is ankle tilt. So lots of articulation for this guy. And talking about the backpack, that doesn't look bad. I like the backpack on Rhinox. I, I dig it. I like how that looks. Now let's take a look at his weapons, and I absolutely hate these weapons. I mean, Rhinox is known for his chain guns of doom, if I can get this one. So right there, the front of them looks really good. Then you look at them from the side. I mean, damn. <laughs> that looks terrible. So you can go ahead and put these in his fists. Get those slotted in like so. And now you have Rhinox all armed and ready for battle. But with those being so thin, it looks like he's holding pinwheels. Whee! Whee, whee, whee! Now another option, if you don't want the pinwheels in his hands, is go ahead and pop these out because we'll need to take those out for transformation anyway. They do fit nicely. It's a nice tight fit. So right here on the back of Rhinox, you've got these little peg holes. So you can put the pinwheel guns on his back like so to maybe give him another melee weapon or just display him like that. Now let's get Rhinox transformed into beast mode. Now the first thing we're going to do is remove the chain guns from Rhinox's back. And after you have these removed, what you're going to do is actually hook them together. As you can see, there's pegs and ports on both of them and just line those up. So you've got this going on and put that to the side. We will use that later on. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I hate the transformation for Rhinox. There may be some quick edits in this video, but I'm going to do the best I can. I fool with him a, a few times already, and each time I screw up. So the first thing we're going to do is lift up the forearms right here and go ahead and fold the fists up into the forearm. Fold that up, shut that back in place. Do the same thing over here. There we go. So now rotate the forearm around so you're forming the rhino legs. So you can go ahead and bring those up like so. Take the chest section and pull this out. Very hollow right there, but that is so you can take the faux mouth and you're going to fold it up like so, and that's going to slide into that gap in Rhinox's chest. Now go ahead and do a 180 with his head. Take these side pieces right here and just bring these down. Those you're going to manipulate a few more times during the transformation. Now go ahead and bring the shoulders in. Excuse me, you got to bring this section back. It's just bring the rhino backpack up, bring this section here up and over, if I can get it, this whole section right here is going to fold up 
in behind the rhino head. Just very fiddly transformation. Get the head out of the way. Bring this up. Of course, I'm on camera, and when you're on camera, that's when everything screws up. Nothing just nothing wants to fit right. And actually, the top part, the top half, is the easy section. So that is pretty much it for Rhino's, Rhinox's front. Bring the head down a little bit. And now we're going to fool with these legs. It is a lot more complicated than that needed to be. So first thing we'll do is take these flaps and unfold these from the front of each leg. And then you're going to bring out this little section here. Bring this up. That forms a little back panel. So snap that in place. So you got this look going on. And now you've got Rhinox's back legs, back rhino legs, hid in here. So you want to get these out and pop it right off. That's the first time that's happened. Okay, now once you get the leg popped back on, let's go ahead and get this one out. See if I can avoid doing the same thing. Bring this out, get that leg out and around. Like I said, this is just a, I hate these legs. Turn the rhino leg around and that way it'll fold out a little better. So you've got this look going on right here. Now, let's see, get these out of the way. You're gonna take this inside section here out, bring the feet back. Oh, I hate, I hate this. Okay, get these swung around. You want to take the rhino feet and fold those back along this back section. All right, it's, <laughs> this thing is coming along. Oh, I hate this thing so much. Okay, there we go. So now get the feet folded like that. And now you're going to try to get those sections underneath this back part. Like so. We're still dealing with this. Underneath here, swing this around. Ah, just like that. So we've got this going on other side it just it just doesn't want to manipulate right or i'm just fiddle fucking this all over the place all right so now we're we're getting close and now you just have to get everything lined up just right this is probably the worst transformation i have ever done on camera It's just awkward. It's just, for me, I have yet to find an easy way to do this transformation. Okay, you want it to look like this. See, the feet are now flipped upside down. The ports are facing out. So now you want to get these up and under this section right here. Everything's falling apart. And you want your chain gun now, this section right here, is going to peg inside, where is it? Right here. See the little holes right there at the knee joint? Make sure the handles of the chain gun are facing toward Rhinox's butt. Get that in there. If you squeeze those together, that'll hold that'll hold him a little firmer. Now I'll just get everything tabbed in. And there we have Rhinox in beast mode after probably the sloppiest transformation I have ever done on camera since starting YouTube. 
And you know, I'm not going to go back and re-edit it just to give you an idea how horrible this figure's transformation is. That's the fourth time I've done it, and it still has given me a fit. Maybe some of you can do better, but for me, I hate it. Rhinox transformation sucks. But here he is in Rhino mode, and Rhino mode doesn't look too bad other than these big green sections right here. I wish that was the same color as the rest of the rhinoceros. Head sculpt looks great. I love the wrinkles, the nostrils, the paint applications there on the horns and the ears. A very realistic looking rhino and his jaw can move up and down and it even has a painted pink tongue. So that's really cool. Got some evil red eyes though. Now articulation, the head can move up and down slightly and that's about it. The legs can move around a little bit, but it's just basically the robot shoulders. And I am sorry you're hearing all those weird noises in the background. My dog is having a fit rolling around in the floor. What are you doing? Do you have to make such awful noises while I'm doing a video? Dipper. Dipper. Yeah, you're ignoring me now. Let's see. Back of the figure, more great details. Look at the rhino wrinkles. I dig it. Lots of panels, though. A molded-in tail. And let's see. These legs, the back legs don't do anything. They're on those ball joints that you saw that pop off real easy. And they just kind of swing around a little bit. So, really, it's kind of a brick. And if you look at it wrong, all of this is just going to pop apart. So there you go, guys. There is Rhinox in Rhino mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Rhinox with Kingdom Optimus Primal, Kingdom Dinobot, Netflix Cheetor, Generation 1 Ramhorn, and Generation 1 Stranglehold. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Rhinox is an okay figure. I was expecting a lot more with this guy considering the great Kingdom figures that we've already got. He's nowhere near as cartoon accurate as the Kingdom figures that came before him, and he's just way too hollow. I really wish I hadn't sold off my Thrilling 30 Rhinox because I think that would have been a much better fit than this one right here, and that was five years ago. I mean, come on, Hasbro. I was expecting so much more with this figure. Not to mention those blasted pinwheel guns he has. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom, Rhinox. So, does a War for Cybertron Kingdom Rhinox belong in your collection? Well, only if you want him to complete your cartoon lineup or you're a kingdom completionist. Other than that, I would say this guy is an easy pass, especially if you have the Thrilling 30 version. I just feel that this guy, he just feels cheap. He's not near as good as the previous kingdom figures that we've had before. Way too hollow. I mean, I hate the shoulders right here, and, you know, he's got the big gap in the chest. He, he just, he doesn't feel right. He doesn't feel like the quality that I would expect from a $30 figure. Of course, as we've known, the quality of our Transformer figures has been declining over the last few years. I do not like his guns. I do know there's some 3D printer people out there right now fixing that issue, and his transformation just really isn't that fun either. So, yeah, unless you really, really want him, this one is an easy pass. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And big shout out to all my current subscribers. I think we're less than 700 away from my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!